So I'm trying to hardwire a dash cam. So here's the wire for the camera itself. It's a Garmin 65W. And the other item that I will be wiring is one of these factory Apple Watch Series 12 um, MagSafe. And basically it takes a Type-C cable. The Garmin camera takes a Type-A cable. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be wiring a 12 volt socket adapter directly to this, to the standard 12 volt. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna find this here cable, this blue and black. This one, right, the one that I'm touching with my thumb, the blue and black is the positive terminal, the brown is the negative terminal. The way you know is that the center of a 12 volt socket is always positive and then the outside is always negative. Same thing here, so I'm gonna, on my socket right here, the positive is red. So I'm gonna solder the red one to the blue one and then the black one to this brown one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip away. I'm gonna show you how to do this really neatly. We're gonna strip away just a little bit of this wiring on both sides and I'll show you what to do next. It's quite simple. As you can see, I've simply stripped away about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. And what it looks like is like this to where you make a score around the wire and then you make a slice down the wire, carefully not cutting the copper itself. And then you want to stagger them as well. So after we solder and do all this, I'm also going to be using liquid electrical tape and then electrical tape on, on top. But you see, when you stagger them like this, they will never touch. So you want to stagger your, your slices on these original cables. And the next thing you want to do is you want to take these and you want to wrap it around this all the way. Just keep making a loop. I'll show you just like this. Now, as you can see, it's done quite well. So you want to be wrapping as you go down to try to keep the thickness consistent. Next thing you want to do is use some flux. This is just some generic cheap flux for electronics. You want to coat these and solder. Obviously, if you've never soldered before, I recommend you go watch a soldering video, but I'm going to solder these right now. Now, as you can see, sorry that it's a little blurry and the focus, they're soldered. So that's a permanent connection there. And at this point, I have a little bit of heat shrink that I'm going to lower all the way down to the base. And I'm going to heat shrink it. Obviously, it's not doing much. It's just giving some additional protection. But then we're going to put liquid electrical tape on this and let that completely dry. And after that's sealed, then I'm also going to do electrical tape around both individually and then both together to combine into one system. And that is guaranteed you're not going to have any issues. Sorry about that noise. That's guaranteed that's the best permanent way to tap into a 12 volt rail. And all I'm going to be using this for is to plug in a standard 12 volt socket outlet so I can plug in the dash camera and the wireless charger for my phone. Now that those have been attached all the way, Time for the liquid electrical tape. Now that you can see the liquid electrical tape is on, next thing you're gonna do is put strips on there to isolate the wires, positive and negative. You do not want to just wrap everything all with one piece. Isolate them. Now that they have been isolated, now you wrap everything together as one piece for additional insulation. Now that it's done, if you like, you can go an additional step and wrap it in fabric tape, which is pretty much the same stuff they use from the factory just for additional professionalism. And now that you're all done, just enjoy your handiwork. You almost can't tell that this doesn't look factory. Looks pretty close. And now I can just plug in my socket, plug in my dash camera directly into that, plug in my wireless charger into that, and then this, I can just hide it and just zip tie it right here somewhere next to where this original wire normally goes. And then I can just zip tie it here or to this cable, or anywhere, or I can just tuck it away if I want to. And then whenever I need to, whenever I'm ready to plug in the dash cam and all that, I can just plug in my socket, plug in my cables directly, and I can unplug them and take them with me or do whatever I got to do, but this plugs right back into the 12 volt socket. And that's it, that's how you do it professionally. Obviously, make sure everything's unplugged while you're doing this. But that's it, hope you learned something, have a nice day.